Hello, welcome to Crazy Korean Cooking. Mm -hmm. I'm Grace. I'm Stephanie. Today we're going to show you how to make gakdugi. Gakdugi. Radish kimchi. Yes. Gakdugi is actually my favorite kimchi. <laughs> Me too. Really? Yes. Mm. <laughs> you, don't, <laughs> you don't sound convinced. I, no, I want it to be my own favorite. Oh, okay. Um, gakdugi, actually, the name gakdugi comes from the sound of cutting the radish. Mm -hmm. Gaktuk, 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 gaktuk. Yes, yeah. <laughs> That's how it sounds like. <laughs> in, in Korean at least. Does it actually sound like gaktuk? Yes, gaktuk. The ingredients for this recipe is, of course, you need radish. Radish. Moo. Mm. Moo. Mm. 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 And this radish is Korean one. It's a little different from actually daikon, which is Japanese, Japanese radish. Japanese radishes are all white and it's usually longer. Koreans tend to be round. This one's actually pretty long, but usually rounder. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, a lot of times, it's a little shorter. You can use daikon, but Korean radish has a little more peppery taste and I would say it's crispier mm -hmm. even. So sure, if you yeah. can get it, use this one. And uh, green onions, very important to kimchi. We have salted shrimp or uh, shrimp fish sauce. Mm -hmm. Some people use a mix of shrimp fish sauce and um, anchovy. You could actually use either one or a mix. But for gaktugi, I actually prefer shrimp, um, shrimp only. Of course, we Co need good coarse sea salt. salt. Yes. And then some sugar. Gaktugi has a little bit of sweet taste. Sweet rice flour um, and ginger and garlic. And then of course, Kochukaru. Yes. And for kochukaru, um, get really good kochukaru if mm -hmm. you can. Um, I'll show you. Actually, this is the kochukaru we actually brought from Korea. Um, it's organic kochukaru. If you think about it, like you don't wash kochukaru, right? Mm. So think about all the things that could be yeah. in there, right? It could be pesticides or whatever. So organic. Um, not only tastes good, but it's healthier. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you don't have to peel the skin. In reality, there's more nutrients on the skin. So some mm. people like to leave the skin on, but you, then you gotta wash it really, you know, thoroughly. thoroughly. Yeah. You're gonna scrub it with a brush, like potatoes, right? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you want it to be not too small, but not too big. <laughs> if that, that makes mean? sense. Seems like lot, there's a lot of salt. Is yeah. It necessary? If you think about it, kimchi is fermented and it's kept for a while. Mm -hmm. So if you don't use enough salt and if it's not brined, mm -hmm. basically it's gonna start rotting. That's right. Right. So you know, for those people who are watching salt intake, just eat a little bit. I mean, kimchi is not supposed to be main dish. Mm -hmm. I know some people do that, but. You, know, you eat a little bit as a complimentary dish. And then we're gonna leave it like this for about an hour. And every 10 minutes, if you could, just flip it so mm -hmm. that the salt is evenly distributed. Okay. And also you're gonna start seeing a little bit of water at the bottom mm -hmm. as uh, it gets brined and then it's gonna shrink a little bit, okay? First of all, we're gonna make the flour mix. Mm -hmm. Cold water, make sure it's cold. And then some sweet rice flour. flour. Mm -hmm. Again, you can use uh, regular flour if you want. So I'm going to mix it really well until there are no lumps. All right, Stephanie has been working very hard stirring this. So do you see a uh, consistency here? <laughs> it's like, you know, like those cream soup? Kanji. Kanji or mm -hmm. cream soup. It's like that. So as soon as it reaches this point, mm -hmm. you have to take, take it off the heat right away, otherwise it's gonna start sticking. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to mince our salted shrimp. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do this. I mean, I've done it without mincing it before. This way, you don't see like these like little chunks of shrimp floating mm -hmm. in your kimchi. Some people might not mind, some people might. Also, you can distribute the flavor throughout mm. the whole kimchi, right? I'm going to wash the radish. I like to drain it for like two hours to make sure all the water is out. Um, you can get away with maybe one, but uh, make sure it's pro being properly drained at the bottom. It's The bottom is not in the water. 
if you want, you could actually mix the flour soup mm -hmm. that we made. It's cold now, and the kochukaru first, and leave it for 20 minutes, which helps with the vibrant color. Mm -hmm. Did you know um, kaktugi was actually uh, invented in in the king's palace? Oh, what do you yes. call it? King's court. Mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, in I think it, it was about 200 years ago. Yeah. Uh, one of the princesses made kaktugi for the queen. Mm -hmm. I I thought it was for the king actually. I read it was for the queen. I say it's king. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um, <laughs> While other people were making these elaborate dishes mm -hmm. to impress the king or queen. Mm -hmm. She made this like simple dish mm -hmm. out of radish, and yes. they're really impressed. How simple, but so delicious. Mm -hmm. So apparently, that's that's how it was how it was started. So make this look fabulous, <laughs> making kimchi in style. <laughs> Adding all the seasoning. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's really easy, right? Mm -hmm. Very simple. Radish kimchi goes really well with um, soup. Yes. Koreans eat it with soup or mm -hmm. like noodle soup, right? Mm -hmm. It goes with everything, but samgyetang. Yeah. Ginseng soup. chicken. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so yeah. Good. Or like kalguksu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I give you the handsome one. Yeah. Mmm. I think we can sell this. Mm. In fact, we're selling this. Mm. Go to our website, mm. Crazy Queen Cooking, and you can order the ingredients mm -hmm. for all kinds of kimchi, and you can also order kimchi too. That's Great. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> for kaktugi, I like it fermented. Not too, too much, but like properly fermented. Mm. The air is being sucked out. Close it, and then... Close the double lid so the smell is just in there, not in my fridge. And then that's it. You want to leave it out for about two days mm -hmm. at room temperature. And then once um, it's fermented, or you order longer if you like it sour right away. Mm -hmm. But I think two days is good and then you slowly ferment in your fridge. Yes. And before you eat, make sure it's cold. Because otherwise it just doesn't taste as, as good, right? Oh, you can have a lot more takakdugi. Yeah. Kaktugi. Yeah. <laughs> Kaktugi. <laughs> Kaktugi. <laughs> All right, now you know how to make kaktugi. Hope mm -hmm. you can try it at home. And again, you can visit our website for all you need to make kaktugi. Yes. And until next time, don't forget to do something crazy! Welcome to Ask Harmony. I'm, I'm Harmony. I'm Harmony too. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs>ゲイスノーミーニングおおけゲイデイデイデイオンニートコバウセックスタッツワイアイライクイトウォーターイバタッツワイアイライクイトビギビギビギビギビギビギビギビギビギビギビギビギビギビギビギビギビギビギビギビ
파, 힙. 힙이 이거잖아요. 힙. 이게 그냥 합, 혀. 합. 어. 합. 이러면 되는 거예요. 그냥 이렇게. 이거를 계속 이렇게. 슬로우 속이 나오면 이걸 슬로우하게 이렇게 하는 거고. 파스트 속이 나오면 이걸 이렇게 빠르게 하면 이렇게 되는 거예요. 이렇게 하다가 이렇게 옆으로도 하면 되는 거고. 이렇게 좀 사이드로 하면 되는 거고. 그럼 되는 거예요. 그럼 그게 힙합이지. 뭘. 힙합은 이. 어. 그거지. 에디튜드. 그럼 이거 이거 하나 보면 에디트 나와. 